Yeah, sure. So, so look, when, when I, I started in you know, 2018, essentially what I was coming in to do is business development. You know, I saw a product, I wanted to make it better, and then I wanted to get it out there to as many people as possible. And obviously things have evolved from there. So my focus has been very much on sales and learning the sales techniques and just reading up on as much as possible, watching videos, listening to podcasts. Sales has been a very, very big focus of mine and it's paid off quite nicely. Um, I've learned a hell of a lot. And I think, yeah, to, since saying that, any entrepreneur or startup should never undervalue sales. Um, you know, you might have a great product, you might have a great service, but that service and product needs to get to market and you need to know how to sell that. So that would be probably my number one thing. And then on more of the, you know, that, that sales uh, thinking is persistence is a very big one. So be very persistent and I mean, never, never give up on someone when they don't reply to one email or they don't get back to you after one meeting. There's been many situations. And um, we had one that was last year, beginning of last year, where I followed up with a major, major client that, that we've been trying to land. And I think it was about 20 emails in, phone calls, WhatsApps. Can someone introduce me? Can someone get hold of the person, LinkedIn? Eventually, after about the 18th email, uh, the person I was trying to reach said, oh, sorry, Josh, I must have missed this or, or dropped the ball and let's meet. And we took them to one of our pilot sites and they said, this is unbelievable. This is what we need uh, for part of this ecosystem that we're building. And that's, that's one of our biggest deals in the pipeline. So I think persistence, very important. Um, I mentioned LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, you said that, that you've been following my progress on LinkedIn. It's my only tool that I have for marketing. So we don't spend, we are a startup. We don't spend money on marketing, on, on Google ads. We don't spend money on Facebook ads. LinkedIn, because we're a B2B company, the user gets the, the service for free. But the B2B company that's paying, we need to reach those people. So I've grown my reach a lot on LinkedIn and been very conscious of that and how to build it, uh, just posting really often. And then that led me on to a LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which I'd also highly recommend if you're a sales team of one uh, and you're trying to push a product and you know exactly who it is in an organization you're targeting, LinkedIn Sales Navigator has been great. Um, I should be getting paid for this promotion of, of Sales Navigator. But um, th then again, it's not just paying for a service that's going to get you those clients. You always put yourself in their shoes. So there's a lot of spam that I'm sure you get on LinkedIn, like how Paul uh, want to buy SEO services, you know, that type of message. That's never going to work. And I don't understand why people still do it. So always think what that person wants to hear what their intention is, what, what they want out of what they're doing. So for us, it could be an insurance company that wants leads that are healthy, right? So it's not like, hey, we've got a robotic nurse and do you want to look at it? It's like, hey, we can get you great leads who have great health for your life insurance. So yeah, make it relevant and, and make it what, what the person actually wants out of it. Um, and yeah, last, last thing was things that are like really scary. You should, I mean, it's so cliche, but you should always take them up. So in 20, I think it was 2018, I was 26 years old, just getting started. I was invited to a hospital conference it's called HASA. It's, it's a really big hospital um, conference, well known. I don't know about it until then. But I was invited and I went, they asked me to do a, a keynote, an hour long keynote. And I was kind of like, you know, this is a bit scary. I've never done anything like this before. There were over 600, 500, 600 executives from hospitals, um, clinics, insurance companies, um, all attending this conference. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it, uh, put together a presentation. 
and got up there on the podium, looked at the whole audience, you know, 500, 600 people, whatever it was, it was really scary. And once I started doing it, you know, I kind of eased into it and I was fine. And after I was so thankful that I did that because now it's led me to, to not care about, you know, any other, like, like you know, like interview or whether it's a, a presentation or another conference, I've done it, I've overcome it. And, you know, I didn't pull out, which I have to thank myself for.